Still on national matters, the Senate has passed a bill which prescribes live jail as against the current 10 years maximum sentence for kidnappers. The bill contains amendments to the criminal code which is currently in operation in the southern part of Nigeria. The proposed legislation, sponsored by Senator Oluremi Tinubu, is titled A Bill for an Act to Amend the Criminal Code Act uh, CAP C38, Laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria of 2004. It seeks to delete the statute of limitation on defilement, increase punishment for the offense of kidnapping, and remove gender restrictions in the offense of rape and other related matters. The bill eliminates time frame for prosecuting defilement cases by increasing the period from two months to as many years as the victim decides to take up the matter. And joining us via Zoom is a legal practitioner, Murphy Abadoni, to have a conversation around this. Good to have you, Barrister Murphy. Morning. Thank you Morning. for thank you for joining us. Uh, you're sounding a bit uh, faint there, but if you can hear me, let's go straight into the matter. All right, excellent. How how do you view the passage of the bill prescribing live jail for kidnapping? Let's begin from there. Come again, please. How do you view the passage of the bill prescribing live jail for kidnapping? The offense of kidnapping. Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, it's actually a welcome development. It's, it's a good one, looking at it uh, uh, from uh, that perspective. But uh, I, must, uh, I must be very honest with you uh, to also uh, state that uh, our problem has already been a uh, lack of uh, laws here uh, in, in Nigeria. We have, uh, we have a lot of uh, beautiful laws in Nigeria. For them, has never been lack of laws, but majorly uh, on the implementation. Uh, for, for, for instance, uh, when you look at the, the, the bill we are talking about, uh, which is uh, majorly uh, uh, talking about the uh, rape and the uh, uh, issues uh, that have to do with NAB uh, and the rest of it, they, 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 there have been a law all this while. If, if you take a look at uh, the uh, criminal uh, code has been practiced in, in, the, in, in the southern uh, Nigeria. Uh, uh, it's covered that uh, sometimes because of the uh, environmental and social influence, people do not actually make adequate use of our laws in the land. So for me, I, as much as I welcome the bill, I, I am not also uh, so much moved by the fact that uh, it's not in the making of the bill or making of the law, but it is in, in implementation of these laws. Sometimes rape victims, for instance, or kidnap victims, even when we have we seen cases whereby they pay ransom and at the end of the day, they deny even paying this ransom. Sometimes people pay ransom to be relieved and they come out and they, they tell you they, they were just rescued and, and all that. So we have, it's, it's, there's a longer way to go beyond uh, making the bills in Abuja or proposing whatever bills in Abuja mm -hmm. goes beyond that. We, we, we need to, uh, as a people, really need to sit up, uh, especially when it comes to government agency, for instance, like, like, like the police, like the damn police, yeah. where the, mo the most that. times, unfortunately, unfortunately where that is where these cases begin from. Um, sometimes cases are taken to the station, and because of uh, lack of, uh, I must give it to the police, sometimes lack of uh, adequate facilities to carry out their job properly the way it should. Sometimes not just the lack of adequate facilities, but lack of the uh, willingness on the part of policemen to sometimes see that they are not afraid their police officers. Let's but, uh, take actually to... very willing. Barista, if you can hear me, yeah, thank you. I, I, can, I see you're trying to expand the conversation, but let's just uh, stick to uh, what we're talking about on, on this bill. Now, some people have said that this uh, proposed ten, uh, JTEM, life in prison, is going to harden kidnappers even further. Do you agree with this position? I do not agree. I do not agree. Mm -hmm. Now, the, okay. the bill besides kidnapping, as you do know, seeks to delete the statute of limitation on defilement by increasing the period from two months to as many years as the victim decides to take up the matter. 
In this progress, is this progress rather in the search for justice, especially for victims of sexual abuse, which we have seen, you know, time and time and again here in Nigeria? Yes, thank you very much. But, but, but again, too, uh, as much as I, I, I welcome the bill, I must also state again that uh, I, will, I think I will advise victims, uh, rape victims, not to be very happy about this development. Because uh, I must say that the earlier, the earlier, the earlier you, you, you take up your case, the earlier you make your case known uh, to, to, to the uh, agencies, to the police, and to the general actor, to the law court, the better for you. Because the earlier, the better for you to tender your evidence. You, whether you like it or not, rape cases is one of the most difficult uh, cases to prove, as, as much as I know, in, in, so as, as far as law is concerned. Rape cases are one of the most difficult cases to establish. So for me, victims must not uh, go and uh, celebrate this. I, I would still advise that the earlier you can take up your case, the better for you, because there are some of these evidences that will not be there one year, two years, three years after. But sometimes if you take up your case early enough, maybe within within a day, two, three, a week, two weeks, one month after the, 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 the occurrence, then you may have the chances of uh, having a better case. So for me, it's a weapon development, but right. I think the earlier, as far as rape cases, Earlier you pick up your case, the better. All right, Barrister, before I let you go, let's look at this new dimension that is also uh, uh, removed, which is gender restriction on the offense of rape, on the grounds that both male and female uh, could be raped. What's your thoughts on that? We don't hear so much about, you know, uh, males being raped. In, in fact, uh, that is the aspect of the view that I actually celebrated myself. Uh, I'm one of those uh, who have uh, opined or who have for long have insisted that there must be an amendment to our law because it's unfair that each time we talk about rape, we have the, what comes to the mind of the average person is that it's a man against a woman. But out there, there are thousands and millions of cases that are in the other way, women against men, women rape men every other time we've seen, seen it happen but unfortunately both our laws and our society if i will say too does not really want to look at the other end wait once you talk about rape an average man thinks is that it's, it's a man raping a woman or a man attempting a rape on a woman but men too have been raped or have been attempted to be raped on a daily basis so for me I think that is the, 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 my, uh, the aspect of the bill that I'm so much impressed about. But we need to also go beyond that. It's beyond making of bills in Abuja. Yeah. People must... See, let me tell you, the rape cases are one of the most difficult cases, like I repeat. Sometimes people are raped, but because of certain influence, they don't even report to the police. I've seen cases where people are raped, and before you know it, they go back to the police station to tell the DPO or IPO, to withdraw from the case because they are, they are pastor or they are imam or they are, they are, they are family uh, uh, heads. I've said that they should uh, resolve amicably, that they should uh, leave, uh, they should leave vengeance to God and the rest of it. So hmm. beyond that, no matter how beautiful the bill may be, if the people, if the people do not understand the benefits of that bill, then it amounts to nothing. Right. So for me, it's a welcome development, but we need to go beyond that. People need to begin to understand, or people need to be taught to understand that they have certain rights, and they are, they are also supposed to take it up when necessary. If the bills are there and they are fine and good, and people are not going to, uh, to, to stations to report their cases, and people are not going to, to court to take up their cases, then it amounts to nothing. Thank you very much, Barrister Murphy, for your thoughts there. Keep safe out there. My pleasure. Thank you very much.